Hey, how's it going? I'm Nick and welcome back to I Could Do That DIY for another doll repaint video. Today I'll be customizing Honey, the doll that I designed and created myself. Alright, let's get started. Now that the seasons are changing and it's finally fall, let's go ahead and kick off the spooky season and make a spooky doll. For this doll, I've decided to make a nun. Not this nun, or this nun, but my own demonic nun with heavy Guillermo del Toro vibes. She'll definitely be serving the Pale Man from Pan's Labyrinth, with a tiny bit of Parasite the Maxim thrown in there as well. Here's the sculpt for the doll. The head has a cross split for the mouth. The mouth is filled with teeth and some weird folds. Of course the hands have eyes so she can see. I'll go ahead and print the new face in peach resin. But before we get into it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Also make sure to hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest projects. If you haven't already checked out the website, go check it out! www.thehoneydoll.com There are a bunch of different options on the website for you to explore. You can purchase a stock honey or customize your very own. There's always new things being added to the shop, so make sure to keep an eye out. Recently I've added 4 new dolls to the shop that I had previously made on the channel, so definitely check that out. Alright, now let's get to the project. So here's how the face turned out after it was 3D printed. Nice and creepy. I love how the mouth turned out. The teeth are just perfect, I love them. Here's how the hand turned out. Super cool! Now let's go ahead and start working on the face. I'll start by painting the inside of the mouth red. Once I paint the whole inside of the mouth and it's all dry, I'll use a lighter tone of pink to dry brush the details. This will really pick up the texture of the mouth. Alright, cool. Next I'll use a black pastel to add some more depth to the mouth. After that I'll use some pink pastel and some red pastel. Alright, once I'm happy with the amount of work I've done so far, I'll seal in everything with a layer of Mr. Super Clear. Then, on the next layer, I'll start adding some detail with some watercolor pencils. Alright, now let's go ahead and paint the teeth with a light buttermilk acrylic paint. Once all the teeth are painted, I'll highlight the tips with the white acrylic paint.
Awesome, I love how the teeth look so far. But I think they need to be a little bit more dirty. So I'll give them all a brown wash. Cool. To finish up the face, I'll gloss the inside of the mouth with a UV top coat. Now let's go ahead and move on to the hand eyes. I've done a base coat of Mr. Super Clear off screen. I'll start by outlining the iris with a watercolor pencil. After that, I'll use a white watercolor pencil to color in the sclera. I'll use a pink watercolor pencil on the waterline off screen. Then I'll do the same thing to the other side. After that, I'll add some more detail to the iris with some acrylic paints. Then I'll outline the eye with the watercolor pencil. Cool. Next, I'll use a dark brown pastel to shade the top of the iris. I'll blush the hand off screen and seal my work. Then, I'll use a black watercolor pencil to outline the top of the eye and draw on the pupil. I'll finish up the hand by painting some catch lights and painting the nails. <laughs> Next, I'll gloss the eye and the nails. Then to finish up the hands, of course I'll be adding a faux eyelash to the top of the eye. First I'll measure and cut the eyelash to length, and then glue it on. Once I do both eyelashes, I'll move on to the outfit. For the outfit, I'm going to start with the coif and gimp. I'll start by sewing the center seam. I won't sew the whole seam right now, so I can use space for a center back opening. Then I'll attach the front to the back at the side seam. Now I'll sew the center front seam, but just a little bit at the bottom. I'll leave enough opening at the top for the face. Then I'll fold back the edge and hem the opening.
All right, I went ahead and put it on the doll. And now we're going to sew the center back seam by hand. After that, I'll also hand sew on some lace. I'll add some lace to the gimp as well as around the face opening. Cool, I love how the lace looks so far. Now let's go ahead and work on the bandeau. I'll be using some cardboard as a base and covering it in the same jersey that I used for the coif and the gimp. I'll adhere the fabric to the cardboard with some spray adhesive. I'll go outside so it's ventilated and also wear a mask. Then I'll just stick it on and trim off the excess. Once I've trimmed off all the excess, I'll use some quick dry tacky glue and fold over the excess onto the back. I'll use some crazy glue to close up the back and the top. Now let's go ahead and move on to making her habit. Of course, we'll be making a very dramatic gown style habit. I'll start by sewing the fisheye darts on the front and the back. Once I sew all the darts, I move on to sewing the shoulder seams. I'll hem the hand opening off screen and then we'll sew the sleeve edge. It's a very long dramatic sleeve. I'll go around the perimeter, up into the armpit, and down the side seam of the dress. I'll do the other sleeve off screen, then we'll move on to the skirt. I'll start by gathering the top edge of the skirt with two basting stitches. Then I'll gather the skirt and then we'll attach it to the rest of the dress. Alright, now I'll add a velcro closure to the center back. Then to add a little bit more decoration to this dress, because of course I want a little bit more decoration, we're going to add some lace in various parts of the dress. I'll start by adding lace to the outside edge of the sleeve. I'll also add some lace to the waist, into the hemline of the dress. I went ahead and created the veil off screen. It's a half circle of velvet with a lace edge. We're going to glue it to the top edge of the bandeau with some super glue. Now let's go ahead and make her crucifix. 
I 3D printed it off screen, and now we're going to paint it brass. I also added some rhinestones and a chain off screen. We're just going to sew it to the neckline. Alright, once the crucifix is fully attached to the neckline, the doll is complete. So here she is, here's the finished result. I really love my creepy nun, I think she's super cool. The outfit has to be one of my favorite outfits I've ever made. I love all the lace details. Her mouth is of course horrifying and super fun. And of course I love how the eye hands turned out. She's definitely giving Guillermo del Toro does the conjuring realness. How do you think my demon nun turned out? Do you love her as much as I do? Let me know in the comments below. Since the seasons are changing, I'm definitely in the mood for more creepy dolls. So get ready to see some more! Thank you so much for watching. For the rest of the video, enjoy the remainder of the photos.
Thanks again for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!